Hello, my dear friends. A very good evening and warm welcome to all of you. Let's dive in and discuss all the PYQs of NEET since 2018 to 2023. And many of you might have done those PYQ, but it's very important to have a complete grip over the topic through which that uh, questions are coming. So we will try to get all the questions which can come through that topic. Uh, whatever we can, we will try our best. So let's start with this first question. This question is asking that there is a program in which we are trying to do the follow up and treatment through a software online. And I hope you all know the name of this program is Nick Che. Nick means no. And Chai means loss of body. Chai means malnutrition. And in TB, you know, patient get malnourished. So Nikche is the program which is web enabled case based program for TB reporting and follow up. Now a similar program you all know, similar to Nikche is Nishche. And Nishche means to be sure of. So this Nishche is UPT kit by ASA. So Nishche and Nikche, I think it's not big thing. If you understand the meaning, this is the logo for Nikche. Nick means no, Chai means TB and a reporting and follow up. Now you can get this logo of Potion Abhiyan where there will be a tree coming out and you all must be knowing Potion Abhiyan is two week awareness program on nutrition under which five thing comes. Uh, Anemia Mukt Bharat, uh, Anganwadi program, PM portion which is replacement of midday meal. The only difference is in PM portion they also include lunch to preschool children along with other children, KG school children are now also given lunch under PM portion. Fourth is RKSK adolescent program. And uh, uh, the fifth thing under what I discuss uh, is itself the awareness program which is there. So remember portion Abhyan have a target of 2% reduction in malnutrition. If you will go for anemia Mukt Bharat, anemia Mukt Bharat has target of 3% reduction in anemia. Portion Abhyan has target of 2% reduction. Now let's look at this one more logo, which I hope none of you have seen earlier. That is Sankalak, not Kalank, Sankalak. Sankalak is a Hindi word which means compilation of data. So Sankalak is nothing but just data compilation of HIV from 2017 to 2020. And it's not even a program. You know, it's like one day in the morning government <laughs> smokes some Patanjali green grass and called I said that I will launch today something and you know, they get into mood of launching a program and they call the HIV department and uh, NACO and ask what are you doing today they said nothing sir just boring compilation of data they said so what it will be a new program Sankalak give it a logo also PG preparing student will <laughs> mug it up so it's not a program it's just data compilation and you see if they stop this ribbon here that will become NACO but if they prolong the ribbon, too long ribbon, then that will become Sankalak. And I hope you all know if the ribbon is of pink color, that will become breast cancer. If the ribbon is of purple color, that will become leprosy awareness. Now, uh, when it comes to the logos, one very important summary of logo is in which you can see mother and child together. There are six program logo in which mother and child are together, which we should revise before every exam for sure. If the logo is black in color, that is Lux program. I hope you all know in Lux we improve maternity, OT, labor room and all. You know, that is Lux program, maternity, OT and labor room improvement. Now, uh, labor room improvement. So that is black color program. If it is white child, white mother, that means foreigner. So that is baby friendly hospital initiative. And remember prevention of infection is never a priority in uh, BFHI or in Indian program of breastfeeding, which is known as Ma, mother absolute affection. We never focus on prevention of infection. This third is where you can see an incomplete mother and incomplete child. That is Pradhan Mantri Matru Vandana Yojana, mother worship scheme in Pradhan Mantri Matru Vandana Yojana. Uh, previously, they used to give 5000. Now they are giving 6000 rupees, 2000 rupees at uh, first 12 week, 
period of gestation next 2000 rupees at 6 month of pregnancy and last 2000 rupees at uh, 6 week when mother come after delivery for first vaccination first uh, dose of vaccines so why it is incomplete because this matru vandana program is even not implemented in bjp ruled states you know? so it's mostly in the air and many of the students must be seeing it have you seen in any state money being given after delivery uh, money being given before delivery after delivery money is given and that is jsy which is implemented in all the states janani suraksha yojana but before delivery have you seen money being given if not it means this program is in air that's why mother and child are incomplete in pm matru vandana yojana now if you see a yellow color mother yellow color child that is jssy janani shishu suraksha yojana because you know shishu means child who keep on doing susu so this logo is yellow color due to susu now if it is blue color that is unicef which also focus on mother and child and of course i hope you know the question seed and manure of applied nutrition program is also given by unicef now if you see a green color mother and green color child that is anmol it is an anm online it is a software for data entry of high risk pregnancy by anm so these are the six logo with mother and child i hope you remember uh, black color laksh white foreigner bfhi yellow jssy blue unicef green anmol and incomplete is pm matru vandana yojana the last logo which is half here is the logo of uh, uh, kausal bharat skilled india you can see in this logo there is a pen and a screwdriver so that if you don't get a job by using pen use a screwdriver and in kausal bharat government is planning on two things one is they are planning to give low cost loan to start their own business and other is they are giving training to the people so that they can have their own business okay so these are some of the logos which i wanted to revise quickly now coming on to one question which many students feel feared of that is parametric and non parametric test so my dear friend under parametric test we have those test which are used for quantitative data quantitative data is something which we can measure like we can measure the bp we can measure hemoglobin blood sugar weight height so these are all quantitative data now in this quantitative data part we apply parametric test if data have large sample size because you will get two three question on this topic in different neat paper so let's have the command over this topic right now large sample size and whenever there is a large sample size data distribution become normal why because let's say i am taking a test of 2000 students some student will get less than 40 percent some student will get more than 60 percent and majority will get let's say 40 to 60 percent so the distribution will become normal if there is large sample size so these are the characteristic of parametric okay large sample size normal distribution quantitative data now i hope you know in the quantitative data if i am comparing the data given before the test and after the test pre post data in that case we apply paired t test okay if i am comparing the data of two group only this two group comparison is unpaired t test suppose they write comparing mean bp of two group of patient so it will be unpaired t test unpaired t test is same as student t test same thing and unpaired t test we apply when sample size is less than 30 if the sample size become more than 30 then we apply jet test okay so um, i hope you remember that if there is pre post word paired two group unpaired but more than 30 it will become jet test and if there is three or more group then we apply anova anova full form is analysis of variance so by this simple way you just remembered what are the parametric test mainly three tests are parametric paired unpaired anova but unpaired 
is also known as jet test if sample size is more than 30. So which of the following is non-parametric test except? Non-parametric except means they are asking which is parametric. So out of the four parametric will be jet test which is same as unpaired t-test only thing is sample size more than 30. Now let's come and discuss the other type of test which is non-parametric test. I will give you a lot of question on this topic which has been asked in NEET only. So just have this topic in your mind. Non-parametric is for qualitative data. What is qualitative? Qualitative means which can only be classified in category. Categorical is qualitative. For example, if I ask about my obesity, it is quantity or quality? You can say, sir, you are mild, moderate or severe obese, but you cannot say that, sir, you are 2.3 obese. You cannot measure my obesity, you can just categorize it into mild, moderate, severe. So whenever we talk about disease, for example, BP, hypertension people, if I say BP, BP can be measurable, that will become quantitative. But if I say hypertensive, diabetic, diabetic mellitus, anemic, obese, all of these disease, we do not measure but just categorize. And we can measure that in 100 people, 30 are obese. So 30 out of 100 means the data is coming in percentage or proportion. And recently in uh, INICT, they ask a very good question on this point that whenever there is qualitative or categorical data, then we use median and mode. Okay. Remember, in quantitative, we are using mean. Mean means average. We can measure average weight of the class. So quantitative, we measure average. But qualitative, we take median mode. And if any question you find percentage of obese, percentage of hypertensive proportion, it means it is qualitative. And if qualitative data is of two or more group, we apply chi-square test. Okay. Now, other name of chi-square test is Fisher exact test. And my dear friend, just like unpaired is for sample size less than 30, jet for sample size more than 30, Fisher exact test is for sample size less than 30. And chi-square is for sample size more than 30. Okay. So how will you remember this thing? Because it can get confusing. So to remember it, I used to think like that, unpaired Z, Fisher exact test, chi square I used to write by x square. So alphabetically, u come before Z. So u is for less than 30, Z is for more than 30. Alphabetically, f come before x. So Fisher exact test for less than 30 and chi square for more than 30. Okay. Moreover, we also use Fisher exact if out of four table, any table have less than five value, like three or four, less than five value in any one table, we use Fisher exact. But they usually ask question only from chi-square, paired, unpaired ANOVA, which is very simple to understand. How to understand? Let me summarize. If you found any question where they have used the word percentage, proportion, median, mode, answer will be chi-square. Any question where they say anemic, hypertensive, diabetic, malnourished, disease they are saying, disease is categorized only, answer will be chi-square. If they are writing data, then you have to look at the word pre-post, paired, two group, unpaired, three or more group, ANOVA. So we will use this trick again and again to solve many question. Uh, Pranam Amitraj ji <laughs> and... Uh, now, I hope you are getting it all well. I am not too quick or fast. Let me know if uh, you are unable to get anything, any concept. Please tell me. There is a lot of friend over here. Thank you, sir. Mm, thank you, Altaf. Sir is good with peacock wala. <laughs> okay, you are enjoying it. Very good. <coughs> uh, Dr. Sidna Phil is also there in the group. He is saying, sir, I am Sidna Phil or I am Bana do Tadala Phir for exam. Oh, wow. Very pharmacologically correct thing because you all know Tadalafil is long acting. There is a probability of having morning sex also with Tadalafil. Sidenafil is short acting as compared to Tadalafil. So Sidenafil want to become Tadalafil 
I will try my best to keep your erection prolonged, okay? So that you can enjoy the morning sex also. Now come here. The dose of iodine for lactating women in India according to recommended dietary alliance is 280 for lactating, 250 for pregnant. Okay, now three things they ask from here. One is vitamin D. Remember, whatever the age group is, vitamin D, D is always needed 600 international unit for everyone. Pregnant, lactating, old age, everyone. If they talk about calcium, calcium need in pregnancy, of course, will be less than lactation because in lactation, they are breastfeeding also. So lactation, calcium is 1200, pregnancy is 1000 and the same dose is for old age. 1200 okay here is a small table uh, not a small one but it will help you to understand the things see it is clearly written here if you talk of the iodine iodine in pregnant they have written 250 and in lactation 280 okay now uh, one more thing i was talking about is calcium and sometimes they ask about iron who need iron more Try to answer this question. Does pregnant female need more iron or does normal female like me need more iron? Tell me. So, in pregnant woman, iron needed is 27. But in normal female, iron needed is 29. Because normal female are going through menses, not pregnant female. So, menses women need higher iron. That's why it is 29. And lactation, it is 23. Now, I was talking about calcium earlier. Remember, calcium in male, female, both is 1000 and in pregnancy also, it is 1000. But in lactation, it is 1200 and in old age also, it is 1200. So, these are some of the important things from here. Uh, iodine, calcium, iron, these three things you know, should know and vitamin D, everyone 600. So, that's there. Now, let's next question. Which of the following is most peripheral center under the revised national tuberculosis program? It is an old question of 2018. Now the program is known as NTEP, National TB Elimination Program. And I think you must have seen this logo of NTEP here. This is NTEP logo. TB harega, desh jitega. So this is NTEP and under NTEP, what is the most peripheral unit? Most peripheral center. Okay. So, in NTEP, it is start with central TB cell, central TB cell in form state TB unit, state TB unit, district TB unit, till here nothing to remember. From district, information go to tubercular unit. From tubercular unit, information go to designated microscopy center, DMC. From DMC, it finally go to drug depot. Drug depot cannot do the testing. It can only give the medicine of, of course, TB. So, what is the most peripheral unit? Out of the option given here, DMC will be the most peripheral unit. And in NEED 2018, they have asked most peripheral unit with microscope. So, of course, it will be DMC. Now, one tough question from here is, what is the population norm for these TU and DMC? They have not asked it yet, but it is given in uh, Park textbook that DMC is needed at 50,000 in a hilly area where people are living far apart, 1 lakh in plain area and tubercular unit is needed at 1.5 lakh in hilly area where people are far apart and 2.5 lakh in plain area. Now how to remember these things? Very simple. If you look at the dose of HRZ, HREZ, which we give for treatment of pediatric cases, isoniazid we give 5 mg per kg per day. Rifampicin we give 10 mg, ethambutol we give 15 mg per kg per day and pyrazinamide we give 25 mg per kg per day. So 5, 10, 15, 25 is the dose and if you multiply each dose with 10,000, 5 with 10,000, 50, 10 with 10,000, 1 lakh, 15 with 10,000, 1.5 and 25 with 10,000, 2.5 lakh. So if you remember this dose, 5, 10, 15 and pyrazinamide is last alphabet Z na. So we give 5 extra, 25. So if you remember 5, 10, 15, 25, you can also remember the population norm by multiplying them with 10,000. Okay, dear? Chalo. Now, 
let's move ahead and uh, let's move ahead to the next question which of the following is true about factory act given in 1948 children under 14 year of age must not be employed we all know this rule so this is definitely the true thing now under 14 cannot be work but 15 to 19 can work they can work for 4 hour 30 minute with 30 minute break so maximum they can work is 4 hour 30 minute including break 5 hour second thing is they can only work between 6 am to 7 pm in non dangerous condition third thing they can only work after getting physical fitness certificate from surgeon so surgeon give physical fitness certificate so if surgeon will give physical fitness what we will do with our stamp put it on our bum or what why surgeon because surgeon will check for hernia in them first they might be involved in lifting heavy weight so we will just check hernia and then involve them in the job so surgeon now most important things that they ask from here is what is the maximum hour of work per day per week including overtime so maximum work hour very simple very easily you can remember nine hour is per day including one hour break okay if they talk about per week per week is 8 into 6 8 hour they can work for 6 day 48 hour but if they use the word per week including overtime if overtime is written only then you will answer 60 hour otherwise you will answer 48 hour okay now what is the recommendation of chadha committee except this is something which has been removed from the latest park edition all the health committee but maybe the examiner not know and they can still ask so Chadha committee said that we need one PHC for one lakh. Chadha committee has two things. One PHC at one lakh. Second thing Chadha said that malaria management should be uh, at PHC level. They give a guideline for them. And they separated family planning from other thing. But similar to chadha committee was kartar singh committee which is very frequently asked three four time has been asked kartar singh is the committee on multi purpose worker multi purpose worker what is multi purpose worker at that time there were three different workforce for family planning tb and malaria kartar singh said let's have it together as one worker multi purpose and he said one phc at 50000 so this one PSC at 50,000 is wrong statement for Chadda. PSC at block level is correct because block level is where we have CHC and CHC is at 1 lakh. So uh, Chadda was re re recommending that PSC should be at block level or 1 lakh. Basic health worker per 10,000 and responsibility of PSC in malaria management which I was talking about. So this two they frequently ask Chadda Kartar but let's revise other committee very quickly. One is health survey and development committee. Can anybody tell me the name of this committee? Health survey and development committee. What is this committee? Anyone? The name of this? Because there is a similar committee health survey and planning committee. So what are these two committee? By name they can ask. See, if it is anyone, if you can reply it. Okay. <coughs> this health survey and planning is Mudalier committee. And Mudalier committee said two things. One is one PHC at 40,000. And second is we need Indian medical services same as IAS. And I like the 12th pass story you were, might have heard. Similar, we need Indian medical services, not just IES. And this one, Health Survey and Development, is the committee name of Bhore. Bhore committee came before India become free in 1946. And how to remember this confusing part? Very simple. Bhore means morning also. Bhore in Hindi means morning. And it is the first committee. And if you see, alphabetically, D come before P, development come before planning. 
सो डेवलपमेंट इज भोरे फर्स्ट कमिटी एंड देन प्लानिंग इज सेकेंड मुदालियर भोरे ऑल्सो सेड वन पी एच सी एट फोर्टी थाउजेंड भोरे सेड दैट वी नीड सोशल फिजिशियन नॉट जस्ट डॉक्टर वी नीड सच डॉक्टर हु कैन ईट फ्रॉम विलेजर प्लेट हु कैन पार्टिसिपेट इन विलेज मीटिंग एंड दैट्स वाई ही स्टार्टेड थ्री मंथ रूरल पोस्टिंग इन एम बी बी एस ओके सो दैट दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड द रूट कॉजेज ऑफ डिजीज एंड बिकम सोशल डॉक्टर लास्ट वन थिंग ही सेड इज थ्री मिलियन बेड प्लान वट ही वॉन्टेड टू से वॉज दैट वी नीड सेवेंटी फाइव बेड एट पी एच सी बाई नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फाइव and if you see right now we have only 6 bed at phc so he was thinking of 75 bed in 1975 how kya bhore ne bhore bhore mal phook liya tha was bhore high in the morning and saying this thing no actually when india become free we were giving 5% gdp on health and then it gradually reduced to 1% which is being given for last 30 year so what is the expected gdp they have asked in one of the exam expected gdp which should be given on health gnp or gdp on health is 2.5% is the expectation and india is giving 1.05% for last 30 year okay so that is one of the reason why we don't have that much of bed at our phc very good saif ali khan ayo where is karina bro you are right in saying that it was uh, bhore there at development and planning at mudalier now these two they frequently ask and then chadda and kartar singh are the two they ask but we should also have a knowledge of um two more committee one is jungle wala committee jungle wala committee is committee on integration of health services his integration he said that uh, there should be no private practice by government doctor and there should be equal pay for equal work and if doctor are posted in rural area they should get big better and bigger salary than urban area doctors then there was this srivastava committee srivastava committee is known as committee on health education and support manpower and he said almost the same thing which bhore said that we need doctor to go to rural area so srivastava started 3 month internship psm posting internship rural posting okay and srivastava also gave concept of village health guide at village level and he also gave concept of roam reorientation of medical education let's send doctor to rural areas finally the last committee is high level expert group committee which was headed by dr srinath reddy they said we need universal health coverage we need free health care to all indian and for that we need 2.5% of gdp so they have asked it in aims already universal health coverage committee is high level expert group committee okay so just revise this and it will be thing <coughs> saif ali khan is saying that sir i have left only morning reaction sir no karina like thing sir oh bhai sir oh ho oh, oh. ho okay but uh, she will come soon i hope i have high hopes on you come here so now you can see we are again back to parametric non parametric thing which of the following is true for non parametric so let's discuss that one thing is sure non parametric is chi square there are many other which are non parametric but chi square and chi square we just read that is for qualitative data which are for categorical so qualitative and chi square in non parametric second thing is parametric is for normal data this is for skewed data and for a small sample size suppose i am testing marks of only 5 student so it can be possible that all 5 can get very good marks or all 5 can get very bad marks so if i am taking a small sample size that can be skewed if i am taking large sample size like 20000 that will be normal and we will apply parametric so non parametric is for skewed data a small sample size one more thing you should know that whenever we want to know relationship between two quantitative data in parametric we apply pearson correlation whenever they say 
क्वेश्चन ऑन रिलेशनशिप रिलेशनशिप इज इस्टिमेटेड बाई को रिलेशन एंड हेयर वी अप्लाई पियर्सन को रिलेशन सो इट्स सो सिंपल पी फॉर पैरामेट्रिक पी फॉर पियर्सन पी 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 बट इफ इट इज नॉन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट इन नॉन पैरामेट्रिक वी हैव स्पियर मैन को रिलेशन सो बाई दिस वे वी कैन रिमेंबर एंड डू ऑल द क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस सो लेट्स डू वन बाई वन एनोवा इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ नॉन पैरामेट्रिक नो 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 एनोवा इज फॉर पैरामेट्रिक रॉन्ग नॉन पैरामेट्रिक इज फॉर स्क्यूड वेरी गुड दीज आर स्क्यूड सो दिस इज करेक्ट एंड दिस इज पॉजिटिव स्क्यूड राइट हैंड स्क्यूड दिस इज निगेटिव स्क्यूड सो स्क्यूड डेटा इज नॉन पैरामेट्रिक इट इन्वॉल्व एजम्पन दैट डेटा इज नॉर्मल नॉर्मल इज इन पैरामेट्रिक स्क्यूड इज इन नॉन पैरामेट्रिक इट कैन नॉट बी यूज फॉर स्मॉल सैंपल साइज actually the opposite is true non parametric is used for a small sample size okay so that is the next question which article of indian constitution confute confers to right to life of citizen that is article 21 article 23 is the article 23 this is one time question and uh, i can also do mistake here so rather than trying to guess i would like to go for it the right to life is article 21 never ever has been this type of question has been asked earlier or after that according to who what percentage of immunization coverage is needed for eradication of measles 96% if we will vaccinate 96% children remaining 4% will be protected by herd immunity what is herd immunity i hope you all know if let's say you are in a class of 100 people if 96 are vaccinated and some non vaccinated child enter in your gang then the remaining four will still not get infected because they are surrounded by vaccinated people okay i hope you understand this is non immunized child he tried to enter into a gang where all are immunized all are immunized except this one guy so this cannot transmit infection to the green one because he is surrounded by a group of people who are immunized so this is herd immunity and do remember herd immunity is only applied in those concept which are those disease which are transmitted by fecal oral or respiratory route so in tetanus and rabies herd immunity do not apply okay because <laughs> you understand na suppose i am not vaccinated for rabies but all my friend are vaccinated for rabies still if a dog came and took my tatas away and you know, bite me at my testicles and if i do not take vaccine i will start barking after some time na no? i cannot be protected due to my friend's immunity in rabies and in tetanus so uh, immunity is not applied in these two things tetanus rabies we don't have the concept but in measles we have the concept chalo now in a well designed cancer studies uh, you can understand this questions now similar remission rate were obtained for a new treatment and usual treatment with a p value of 0.04 this is a different question i was thinking it is based on parametric but not acha first tell me in this study this question has not been asked but i am asking this which test you will apply which test will be applied let me see whether you understand the concept of paired unpaired anova chi square or not which test will be applied i am waiting for your reply satendra is saying good speed yeah bro i am i have to finish all these things in such a way that your time is not wasted you get maximum information and you revise it also so uh what is this p value plus if if i feel anything which is important i will definitely try to include that <coughs> okay tell me which test will be applied here i am waiting for your answer now what is p value let's understand this concept p value means how many time we give false positive report and that is the same thing for alpha error alpha error also means you are saying non significant useless thing as significant so alpha error also means overestimating the result trying to act over Uh, trying to act over smartly hai na so it is non significant as significant that is alpha error 
and a very and if you go to the definition of p value p value is probability of getting significant result by chance significant result by chance so let me explain this two thing with a very simple clinical example of coronal study by baba ramdev you know my favorite character so baba ramdev did his trial on people who were asymptomatic without fever and then the researcher said that coronal can treat corona fever so if it is done on people without fever how can they say that it can treat fever you understand what they were doing they were trying to overestimate their effect of coronal drug they were trying to give false positive report for coronal drug they are saying non significant coronal as significant so that is alpha error now coming to the p value thing in coronal study researcher and baba ram they were getting significant result but they are getting significant result just by chance or by mistake so that is the meaning of p value and alpha error both have the same meaning okay uh, and i give this example very commonly on the first day of my college there was a very good girl monica of our batch and i felt that she is looking at me and i had my butterfly coming out the whole day i was walking and dancing at the same time but when i came back from that counseling session my two of the batchmate rahul and neeraj when i shared it with them they said no 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 monica was looking at me monica was looking at me so what hap was happening there on that day with me i was getting significant result but that look was just by chance that look of monica was not intentional she was just looking casually and i felt significant so i was overestimating myself i was getting false positive indications so that is p value that is alpha error now you understand that p value alpha error both are mistakes and whether in life or in exam mistakes should be minimum so p value should be minimum mistakes should be minimum if it is less than or equal to 0.05 or 5% it means there is very less mistake so if p value is less than or equal to 0.05 or 0.5% it means mistake is very less and study is significant and whenever the study is significant we reject null hypothesis what is null hypothesis null hypothesis is something which we give at the beginning of a study and we say that my new drug is lull my new drug is null my new drug is useless so we say in the beginning that my drug is useless and then we do study find out p value if our p value is less than 5% it means the study has very less mistake and our drug is useful so if our drug is useful it means null hypothesis was wrong and we should reject it so do remember this line this is most important line for any exam of this topic this is most important line p value less than equal to 0.05 study significant and we reject null hypothesis and we can also define p value or alpha error as reject null hypothesis which is written as ho even when null hypothesis is true this is also the definition of p value alpha error have two definition one is false positive and one is this second definition uh let me explain this second definition to you with a simple example let's say uh, uh my friend saif ali khan <laughs> came with his morning erection to me and i became and with his morning erection and stethoscope he came with me to me and he put his steth on my abdomen and said congratulations you are pregnant not with his kid but with you know some sudden of health kit i am pregnant suppose he said so if he is saying me as pregnant what he is doing he is giving a false positive report for my pregnancy na it is false positive and he is rejecting null hypothesis he is saying there is something significant null hypothesis is wrong 
बट इन रियालिटी अम्मी कसम मा कसम देर इज नथिंग सिग्निफिकेंट इन रियालिटी इट इज जस्ट गैस एंड ऑल इन रियालिटी माई एबडोम इज नल इन रियालिटी नल हाइपोथिस इज ट्रू बट डॉक्टर सैफ अली खान केम एंड सेड दैट नल हाइपोथिस शुड बी रिजेक्टेड सो ही इज ट्राइंग टू एक्ट ओवर स्मार्टली टू गेट ए पार्टी फ्रॉम मी ही इज गिविंग फॉल्स पॉजिटिव रिपोर्ट सो दीज आर द थ्री फोर क्वेश्चन विच कम फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक इट इज कंफ्यूजिंग सो आई गेव माई टाइम हियर इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू रिवाइज इट बिफोर एग्जाम नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू आवर क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन वॉज दैट वी आर फाइंडिंग पी वैल्यू पॉइंट जीरो फोर पॉइंट जीरो फोर मीन्स फोर परसेंट एंड इफ यू डिड ओनली फोर परसेंट रॉन्ग इन एनी एग्जाम योर रिजल्ट विल बी सिग्निफिकेंट ना सिमिलरली हेयर ओनली फोर परसेंट मिस्टेक इज देयर सो न्यू ट्रीटमेंट इज सिग्निफिकेंट मोर इफेक्टिव देन यूजल ट्रीटमेंट सी विल बी करेक्ट ओके so a lot of question on this topic can be done with this information which we discussed here do remember it now uh let's move ahead next question a 9 month old baby had keratomalacia no uh, is with diarrhea so keratomalacia have is another question diarrhea and she is feeding well but is thirsty so uh skin pinch return in 2 second what is the treatment so let's first uh, revise the classification no diarrhea some diarrhea severe diarrhea in severe diarrhea skin pinch take more than 2 second in some dehydration if you took the skin pinch in less than 2 second skin pinch go back okay second thing is in severe diarrhea there will be some danger sign will be there what are danger sign first danger sign patient is not drinking anything second danger sign patient is unconscious or non responsive third danger sign patient have cyanosis fourth danger sign especially in case of respiratory we take strider as a danger thing but here uh, other than cyanosis not drinking unconscious non responsive non responsive lethargic patient they are all under severe danger sign so if you find danger sign with a skin pinch more than 2 then we go for category c plan in category c we give 100 ml of fluid per day this 100 ml of fluid per day if the child age is less than 1 year we give it slowly in a uh, Six hour, but if the child is more than one year, we give it in three hour. Okay, so this is category C. In category B, all this thing happen which is given in this question: feeding well but drinking eagerly, thirsty, and skin pinch return in two second. This is some diarrhea, some dehydration. So under some and no dehydration, you understand all the things will be normal. so in some dehydration park textbook has written this thing that if weight is given we decide according to weight but here in this question you can see weight is not given so then uh, age we have to lick if the age is up to 4 month it is 200 to 450 if it is 4 month to 1 year which is commonly asked 450 to 800 is the thing 450 to 800 and if it is 1 year to 2 year 800 to 960 so how will you remember it uh we can have a simple way of remembering up to 4 month 200 to 450 up to 4 month then 4 to 12 we just have to go double of that so 400 double 800 and then 12 to 24 one year 800 to 960 so this is for plan b some dehydration with ors now here in our question child age is 9 month if you see so 9 month come under 4 to 12 and hence we should give 450 to 800 can you see it this part classification okay let's go back to our question the question was that the child is having Oh, I went to detail of it or what? Yo, yeah, the child is of nine month. 
so nine month will have uh, between four month to one year will have 450 to 800 450 to 800 is not there but 400 to 700 is there which we can take as the best option okay agar batao in this question if i change nine month into 18 month then what will be the dose one to two year we have 800 to 960 so 18 month answer will become c if i change nine month into uh, let's say three month so three month 200 to 400 will be correct okay and these are the treatment for category b now let's also go through uh, this uh, plan a plan a is simple plan a means just there is a normal thing no not nothing to worry we give 50 to 100 ml after each stool if the age is up to two year if it is more than two year 100 to 200 ml after each stool now let's see category c also plan c also in plan c as i said we give 100 ml 30 and 70 we divide if the age is less than one month i said six hour uh, if the age is less than one year i said six hour first one hour 30 then 5 hours 70. If the age is more than 1 year, we give the fluid of 100 ml per kg in 3 hours, 30 minute 30. So, so simple, 30, 30 and 2 and half hours 70. So, this is for category C. Okay. Category C means severe dehydration where the skin pinch take more than 2 seconds and there is some danger sign which can be there. Now, now this is how we classify you can see the classification severe dehydration uh, is there when achha, in severe dehydration we refer urgently and uh, some dehydration we treat it at the hospital and then we ask the mother to follow up in no dehydration we give ors and ask the mother to do home treatment let's also revise pneumonia guideline because it you get confused in that this is the uh, latest pneumonia guideline do remember if you found any general danger sign or a strider, a strider means sound while breathing. This is characteristic of severe pneumonia and severe pneumonia goes under pink and here the drug of choice is gentamicin. We give gentamicin and we refer the child to higher center. But if it is pneumonia, pneumonia will have chest in drawing and fast breathing it can be both together or any one of it chest drawing and fast breathing is pneumonia now what is fast breathing very important area to focus if the respiratory rate is uh, more than 60 for up to two months we call it fast breathing if the respiratory rate is more than 50 for two months to one year we call it fast breathing and if the respiratory rate is more than 40 for one to two year then we call it fast breathing so 60 50 40 but two month two to one year one to two year so do remember fast breathing if any one of these two found we give amoxicillin for five day which has been asked in one more question we will come to that so remember chest in drawing fast breathing amoxicillin strider or danger sign gentamicin none of it just under green category we will treat so pink for severe yellow for pneumonia and then green for cough or cold there is nothing like some pneumonia severe pneumonia pneumonia cough and cold okay so do remember it now coming to the very important areas this where so do remember which bmi is lethal in men lethal is 13 in men and lethal is 11 in female okay my is very close to 13 and i'm just going to die <laughs> come here <laughs> now which of the following is not used for assessment of body fat see quetelet index is same as body mass index we use total potassium and body water for uh, obesity but breslow index is used for multiple myeloma so of course it is not used for body fat okay and when it comes to bmi do remember the bmi classification for asian by who is bit change 
less than 18.5 is mal you understand malnourished 18.5 to 22.9 is only normal 23 to 24.9 is pre obese and more than 25 is obese okay so do remember this part now what is the ratio of the incidence of the disease in the exposed to that of non exposed can you answer this question exposed to non exposed see if i say exposed to non exposed or exposed versus non exposed what i am trying to say is incidence in exposed divided by incidence in non exposed and this is the definition of relative risk and do remember relative risk is the best indicator of strength of association if we want to know whether two things are strongly related or not best indicator will be relative risk strength of association best told by it okay whenever they use the word two or versus it is relative risk and then in next uh, neat exam only they said incidence in exposed minus incidence in non exposed so if you use the word minus it become attributable risk i hope you all know the formula of attribute this is formula of relative risk exposed by non exposed if i say attributable risk it will be incidence in exposed minus incidence in non exposed by incidence in exposed multiplied by 100 and whenever they use attributable risk they will use the word due to or caused by and you know, like in uh, cigarette packet it is written smoking causes lung cancer that means they are talking in attributable risk second thing and last thing is population attributable risk in population attributable risk this is incidence in population minus incidence in non exposed by incidence in population multiply by 100 so they how to remember this formula because it can be confusing under exam pressure it's very simple if i change the word exposed by population if you found the word exposed it is attributable risk and if i change exposed with population then attributable risk will become pa population attributable risk so if i write exposed minus non exposed by exposed ar population minus non exposed by population par so i hope uh, you will not confuse here okay now let's move ahead uh, population wala bhi jimmy jaipur is saying that sir uh, jimmy jaipur jackson is his full name he is saying that sir population wala bhi expose kar do uh, explain kar do for ecological wala pyq of course we will come to ecological study and uh, we will discuss that pyq separately but because my jimmy jackson has asked me to do it here let's do it see whenever they talk about one population or one group then there can be two type of study from this thing one is usually two type cross sectional other is ecological so how will you differentiate between them very simple if they have asked question from everyone from question or data from every participant so then it is cross sectional for example if i want to know that in gautam nagar uh, how many of the students um, are living together and you know, what is the prevalence of students uh, living together so i am trying asking it from everyone then this will be prevalence study cross sectional study and prevalence is also known as a snapshot because you cannot take picture in future or past you can take only picture in present and i am asking how many of you are living right now i am not asking in russia or in uh, um, uh, madhya pradesh when you were in mbbs how many were living no i am writing right now how many are in living so that is why cross sectional study are done at present moment and it is a study on individual 
where we are asking prevalence and its associated factor. Ecological study is known as correlational study. Why? Because here the unit of study is population. It is done on population. Second thing, why it is correlational? Because we collect hospital data. Let's say we are collecting hospital data of uh, um, hospital data of unwanted pregnancy from nearby Gautam Nagar area of Delhi. And from this hospital data of unwanted pregnancy, I am correlating data of cell of uh, cell of condom or cell of eye pill. So this is two things. Data of cell of condom, I am collecting from the population. I am not asking from the student, hey, are you using condom? Show me right now. No, no. So, and I cannot check it also. So, data of cell of condom will be population data. And data of unwanted pregnancy will be hospital data. If I correlate them together, that will be ecological study. Okay. So, in ecological, I am not asking question from anyone. In cross-sectional, I ask question from everyone. This is the way to differentiate between them. Okay, my dear friend, Jimmy Jaipur Jackson, I hope it is clear. Now, if it is one group or one population, this is the way to answer. But let's say there is two group or two population. Yeah, we have the time here. If there is two group, Anna, then we have to look what are the two group. If the two group are risk present, risk absent. Risk is same as exposure. Karan. Anna, kuch kand kiya aapne. Kand present, kand absent. Exposure present, exposure absent. This is the starting point for cohort study. But if they have written that disease is present, disease is absent. Disease is the outcome. So they can write disease or outcome. Outcome or disease present, outcome or disease absent. Then it will be case. Case are those with some abnormality. Kehte na, abe case hai be. Matlab some abnormal is there. Okay. So that is a case. Case. And then disease absent is control. Control means the one which is normal. Okay. Okay. So they have asked this question also that online ordering is associated with obesity. What will be the two group in case control? Case control will be obesity present absent. What will be the two group in cohort? Online ordering present absent. Exposure present absent cohort. Obesity present absent will be case control. If they say uh, two group as drug given and drug not given. Usually that is RCT. And in RCT they will also give randomization. So that is so easy to understand. Main confusion is in this part. Cohort case control, cross-sectional ecological. Now, in cohort, if they have given in the question that past written record is present. Past written record indicate uh, two type of study, retrospective cohort or historical cohort. Retrospective cohort or historical cohort. In which we are just using past written record. We are not taking personal history. In case control, we take personal history. Here we are not taking it. We are just using the thing which are already written somewhere. So that will become retrospective or historical. But let's say along with past written record, they also write, plus they also write future follow up. So it means they are going in both the direction. For backward for past record, future for follow up. Both direction means they are mixed. So if it is both direction, then we call it mixed cohort. Mixed cohort is also known as, because it is both direction now, so it is ambispective ambispective dono taraf kar raha hai and we also call it nested case control in which a student get confused a lot nested case control what is nested case control means see my dear friend if you are doing past data collection and future follow up which one is more difficult of course more difficult will be future follow up because past data can be collected by click of computer so cohort is the main thing which is hard time taking 
and in this cohort we are inserting data of past so it is nested past data is nested in cohort cohort mein केस कंट्रोल ने घोसला बना लिया है क्या बना लिया है हाँ घोसला तो इसीलिए इसको कहते हैं नेस्टेड केस कंट्रोल बिकॉज इन कोहॉट पास डेटा इज इंसर्टेड सो डू रिमेंबर दीज आर टू अदर टाइप ऑफ कोहॉट स्टडी टू रिमेंबर इट सेपरेटली यू कैन यूज द निमोनिक आर एच पॉजिटिव मैन सी आर एच स्टैंड फॉर रिट्रोस्पेक्टिव एंड हिस्टोरिकल इन आर एच वी गो बैकवर्ड एंड मैन यू नो मैन ना कुत्ते होते हैं मैन ऐसा कुछ लोग कहते हैं सो मैन कैन गो बोथ डायरेक्शन मैन कैन हैव मिक्स थिंग मैन इज नेस्टेड केस कंट्रोल शॉर्ट फॉर्म एम ए एन मिक्सड एम बिस्पेक्टिव नेस्टेड केस कंट्रोल सो मैन इज इन बोथ डायरेक्शन क्योंकि मैन आर लाइक डॉग्स एंड आर एच इज द पास डेटा सो रिट्रोस्पेक्टिव एंड हिस्टोरिकल इज only when past written record is given if both is given man will be there so if you just look at this 5 minute summary you can easily find out which study is done in which case this is very important area of discussion and revision before going through uh, your exam come to the next question acha before going to the next question there is one question left uh yeah so you understand exposed to non exposed is relative risk in order to reach demographic goal of nrr equal to 1 What should be the net reproduction rate? See, uh, 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 is, uh, sorry, NRR is net reproduction rate. NRR is equal to one. It means there is one surviving girl child. One surviving girl child per female. That is what NRR means. NRR means how many surviving girl child are there per female? and if there is one surviving girl child per female somewhere in some other couple there will be equal chance of having one surviving male child also because x and y chromosome are distributed in nature in 50 50% so if nrr is equal to 1 it means there is two child per couple hum do hamare do ke liye nrr should be 1 and nrr will be 1 if we are able to give contraceptive to 60% of population for nrr to be one couple protection rate should be 60% it's just an observation aisa paya gaya ki agar 60% couple ko unwanted bachcha karne se rokoge to population stable ho jayegi population will get stable and there will be two child per couple if cpr is 60% now you know what is the cpr of india right now 66% so we have given condom to 6% extra couple now we cannot take it back and that is why according to data by government of india population growth is not a problem of india anymore the main problem of india is lack of rural development that's why there is so much pollution and population in the city area go to village area aha uh -huh. even if you travel 5 km there will be one person in lungi you will find and very rarely and even if you fart you will not smell your fart also that is so pure air there so do remember main problem of india is lack of rural development because we have already achieved couple protection rate of 66% now what is the tfr of india we want what is the target tfr of india tfr means total child per female okay and total child per female we want is 2.1 we want each mother to produce 2 and 0.1 children why 0.1 because some children will die also and finally we will have two child per couple so this is tfr now a lot of confusing question come from here let's quickly revise this topic this is tfr total child per female but why how they confuse you is they ask total child per 1000 female what will be that per 1000 female total child what we call it this thing that will be general fertility rate very commonly asked total child per 1000 female general fertility rate now if they include 1000 gfr remove 1000 tfr similarly the other confusion is in grr and nrr grr means girl child per female girl child per female is gross reproduction rate grr but if they said girl child per female 
कंसीडरिंग मोर्टालिटी रेट कंसीडरिंग दोज हु डाइड है ना यू विल रिमूव दोज हु डाइड कंसीडरिंग मोर्टालिटी रेट फॉर गर्ल्स सो इफ यू फाइंड मोर्टालिटी वर्ड रिटर्न इन क्वेश्चन ओनली देन यू विल एंसर नेट रिप्रोडक्शन रेट इफ मोर्टालिटी रेट वर्ड इज नॉट गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन एंड दे आस्क गर्ल चाइल्ड पर फीमेल एंसर विल बी जी आर आर सो इट्स सिंपल टू रिमेंबर इफ दे टॉक अबाउट गर्ल चाइल्ड एंसर विल बी जी आर आर और एन आर आर मोर्टालिटी गिवेन टिक एन आर आर नॉट गिवेन गर्ल चाइल्ड पर फीमेल जी आर आर इफ दे से टोटल चाइल्ड लुक वेदर दे आर गिवेन थाउजेंड और नॉट इफ दे हैव गिवेन टोटल चाइल्ड पर थाउजेंड फीमेल जी एफ आर टोटल चाइल्ड पर फीमेल टी एफ आर ओके वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एरिया फॉर रिमेंबरिंग एंड रिवाइजिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एरिया थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर अप्रिशिएटिंग सैफ अली खान यू आर फ्लटिंग विथ मी सैफ अली सेंडिंग हट टू मी वॉन्ट टू बिकम फादर ऑफ माई चाइल्ड ओके कम हेयर इन दिस स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट फॉर डायबिटीज मलाइटस नाइंटी वेयर पॉजिटिव सो दिस पॉजिटिव कैन बी ट्रू पॉजिटिव प्लस फॉल्स पॉजिटिव इट कैन बी बोथ टाइप ऑफ पॉजिटिव हाउ एवर a gold standard test for diabetes mellitus was done out of which 100 were positive so whenever they say gold standard test gold standard test means these were real positive real positive because gold standard do not give fake positive real positive means true positive okay oh no 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 ha real positive means true positive real positive also means they are having the disease that's why they are coming positive okay now uh, we need to understand this question a bit better there are two test when they did the first test total 90 positive came okay then they compared the first test with the second test that is gold standard and in the gold standard they found 100 positive that means 100 were having the disease okay so this 90 positives which are coming is coming on this screening test and some of them can be false positive also but for the first test this 90 positive are true positive okay and we are comparing this true positive with disease and we know this formula true positive by disease is known as the sensitivity sensitivity is true positive by disease dekho i know you will be confused yes, sir earlier you said 90 can be true and false both now you are saying 90 is only true positive so theoretically positive can be of both type two or false but here they are talking about two different test in the first test 90 are coming positive and they are comparing the first test with a gold standard in which 100 are positive that means 100 have disease so they are comparing the test 90 positive with disease and that is the definition of sensitivity true positive by disease is sensitivity so in this case scenario we will consider this 90 as only true positive and we are comparing true positive with disease so it will be 90 by 100 which will be sensitivity 90 by 100 now uh, i hope uh, you remember all this formula of sensitivity specificity but under exam pressure sometime we get confused so let's revise it quickly see you just have to remember that sensitivity is true positive and specificity is true negative if you just remember this thing true positive and true negative in the denominator of sensitivity there is true positive and just opposite of that what is the opposite of true false what is the opposite of positive negative so we will write false negative and we will add true positive with that similarly in the formula of specificity very easy to remember in the denominator there is true negative and just opposite of that what is opposite of true false what is opposite of negative positive so you can never confuse in the formula if you just remember this thing sensitivity true positive and denominator is just opposite of that so true positive by true positive plus false negative and specificity is true negative true negative by true negative and just opposite of that false positive so like that you can always remember plus 
we can also remember it like this true positive by disease is sensitivity and true negative by non disease is specificity this is confusing formula remaining formula is so easy to remember ppv has everything positive so it is true positive by true positive plus false positive npv has everything negative so it is true negative by true negative plus false negative so they are not confusing confusing is these two i hope you will not confuse there now let's come to this question incidence of disease is 4 per 1000 with an average duration of 2 year what is the prevalence this question is not mathematical at all it is based on the formula that prevalence is incidence into duration of disease incidence is 4 per 1000 and duration is 2 year so answer will be 8 per 1000 so simple answer d next question <coughs> Good doctor MBBS Wala is appreciating my effort. Thank you so much. Mm, your appreciation uh, make me feel that I am doing a good work and it's really good. Thank you so much. Shukriya. Now, this probability that infection will occur among susceptible person following contact with an infectious person within the incubation period. Or sometimes they write within one incubation period. So, if people are getting infected within one incubation period, it means there should be some primary case and within incubation period more people are infecting. So, these more people who are infected in the incubation period of primary case, they are the secondary case. So, we will call it as secondary attack rate. Within one incubation period, if they ask people who are infected within one incubation period, shouldn't think it is primary. No, it is also secondary. Okay. Case fatality rate tells us the virulence of the disease or killing power of disease. It's very important to revise the formula of case fatality rate, small numerical which you can solve without using pen can come on it. Case fatality rate is simple. It is total case and out of that total case, how many died death due to a specific disease. Like for rabies, the case fatality rate is 100%. That means out of 100 case, 100 will die. In COVID, it is 1 to 3 percent. That means out of 100 case, 1 to 3 will die. Primary attack rate, you all know, tertiary attack rate, there is nothing like that. Okay, primary attack rate is the first person getting infected. Okay, Dr. Foyos T is asking me a question that, sir, what is the difference between maternal mortality rate and maternal mortality ratio? The difference is, <laughs> that there is no maternal mortality rate. Rate is a wrong thing to write. Maternal mortality is always a ratio. Why? Because ratio means the one in which numerator is not a part of denominator. Okay, and it's, it's a very good question which Fayaz has asked. Even if Foyos uh, T has asked, even if you know the definition, if, even if you know the difference between ratio rate, they are asking MMR definition in three exams already in last six years. So you have to, this definition should be in your mind. Numerator is not a part of denominator. And we think we know, but we do silly mistake here. So focus. Numerator is not a part, then it is a ratio. And what is the definition of MMR? MMR is maternal death within how many days? What is the time limit? for which we take due to delivery related cause okay due to delivery related cause and we divide it with a uh, live birth how many live birth occurred so total live birth is the denominator and we multiply it with 1 lakh 10 to the power 5 is the multiplication factor they ask again and again so uh, So tell me, what is the time duration within which you take MMR? It is within 42 days or 6 weeks, mother should die. Only then it is counted as MMR and multiplied by 1 lakh. Now tell me one thing, is mother coming from children? Kya meri maa mere se paida hui hai? Nahi na, main maa se paida hua na. Mother is numerator 
and they are not coming from live birth. Numerator is not a part of denominator here. That's why it is ratio. Just like sex ratio. When we write sex ratio, we write female above, male below and we multiply by 1000. Now female do not come from male. That's why it is a ratio. So we can never write maternal mortality rate. There is nothing like that. It is only maternal mortality ratio. Okay. Chalo. Next question, which of the following does not cause hardness of water? Calcium carbonate and calcium gluconate. They deposit when we boil water, but they do not cause hardness of water. Okay. Chalo. Next question, a 35 year old female presented to the OPD with a runny nose, cough, headache, fever, chill. Clinical diagnosis of influenza was made with physician. The root of transmission of influenza is direct transmission. Which of the following is not an example of direct transmission in communicable disease? So, my dear friend, this question can get confusing. That's why I took the photo from Park directly. Contact with soil can be direct. In which case, it is written, soil can be direct contact for tetanus, anthrax, coquidomycetes and mycetoma. For these four illness, soil can be a direct source. Tetanus, anthrax, coquidomycosis and mycetoma. Four. But when it is droplet nuclei, and a droplet nuclei means I sneezed, it fall on table, from table someone came and touched it and then it went into mouth or something. And that is droplet nuclei, it means it is indirect. Okay. So droplet nuclei and fomite are like that only and unclean hand finger, mechanical, biological, vector bond, vehicle bond, these are indirect. And direct are contact with soil, droplet infection, direct contact, these are of course direct. Transplacental mother to child or mucosa, that is also direct. That is there. Do remember this classification. Jimmy Jaipur Jackson Anna, is asking me questions. Sir, PPV definition, ask in FMG 19, please explain in your word, why not? PPV means, uh, of course, the definition is true positive by true positive plus false positive. So we can also ask it as true positive out of total positive. Okay, that is a good definition of PPV. Second way of defining is it uh, probability of true positive out of uh, the people who were uh, coming positive. That is PPV. Okay, true positive out of total positive. That means. Let's say for COVID, you did RT-PCR of 100 people in 2020 and out of 100, suppose uh, 30 have the disease, so they will be true positive and 70 people are 100 came positive, 30 have the disease and 70 people are those which just came wrongly positive, so they are false positive. So in this case, what will be the PPV? PPV will be 30 by 100, 30 by total positive true positive by total positive and the very important question is that PPV is directly proportional to prevalence prevalence of disease two time ask in it so if there are more people in a population having the disease PPV will be more agar jada log bimar honge to PPV jada hoga okay next question Achha, so this direct transmission uh, not direct transmission they have asked not direct is droplet nuclei, rest were direct. Okay. Shallow. Next question uh, is what should be the minimum interval between the administration of two live vaccine? Answer is four week. If they are given at same site, there should be four week gap between them. Cytotoxic drug and group of medicines are under which category? Yellow category. Do revise this yellow before going to exam. In yellow, we have six thing. Suppose after taking class, I go outside and I got a smashed uh, with a vehicle. Chipa gaya mein, chitra gaya raste pe. So all the blood you took my body to emergency OT, where you cut my two legs and left something which was hanging between. So where will you throw my leg, that anatomical waste in yellow? All the blood which will come out through my body or 
if I will shit my pant or urinate it, this will all go in, uh, of course, yellow. If you took a sample of my blood for testing drug sensitivity for culture, that culture medium will be in yellow and a very surprising thing, it is written clearly in park that culture plate also goes in yellow. Now, it's written in park textbook table, in, so don't confuse here. Culture plate medium both goes, all the microbiological waste, they go there. Now, uh, second is after anatomical blood culture, if let's say you use some drug and the drug which you used, uh, some drug you used and you have to throw the drug, so all the expired drug will also go under it. Plus, due to my blood, all this uh, bed seats are being damaged, so it is soiled waste. And from the soiled waste, they have asked in NEET exam, where will you throw the cotton? So these five things come under it. Now, last thing which come under it, yellow is cytotoxic. And of course, you all know, in yellow category, we just burn them. So it is incineration, which is there. All the plastic goes in red, except blood bag, because blood or blood bag, they are highly infectious. So they also go in yellow. Do remember. Now, one confusing part is the vaccine vial, broken or not broken, vaccine vial goes in blue. Because vaccines are not cytotoxic thing. And they are glass, so it will go in blue. Uh, and all the teachers, they agree on this. Only some of the PYQ books, which are not written by PSM expert, they disagree. But all the PSM teacher, all the teachers, they agree on this. And even uh, Park textbook has not directly written it. But they have indicated that only cytotoxic drug vial goes in yellow. Vaccine is not cytotoxic. So vaccine vial goes in blue. Of course, if they ask vaccine content, where will you throw vaccine? Vaccine is a, a liquid waste. So that will go in yellow. Vaccine liquid goes in yellow, but not the vial. Okay. Now, uh, this yellow part should be on tip of your tongue. If you ask question, it should be so clear. Six things should be there. Ah, urine bag in red. Very good, my father uh, of my child, Saif Ali Khan and Parveen Kumar. Both of you are right. Now, let's move ahead. Answer, how will you throw this yellow incineration? Which among the following is an active form of chlorination? Hypochlorous acid, HOCl minus. This kill, 80% killing is due to this. How will you remember it? Very simple. The one with the rus. Rus is a Hindi word which means juice. So, jiske andar ras hai, juice hai, wo maximum bacteria marega. Ras will kill maximum bacteria. So, answer is hypochlorous. Out of 100 women who were affected, offered OCP, 10 women got pregnant, including me. Followed for 24 months. What is the pearl index? See, pearl index has two different formula. In Park, they have written an incomplete and wrong formula. They are written, pearl index means number of accidental pregnancy in spite of using the uh, contraceptive divided by total exposure, total exposure which occurred. And they multiply it by, this is a very important question, gynae, PSM, both area they ask question from this part, focus, exposure. And they multiply it by 1200. Now if you divide 1200, it can be 100, and 12 are the number of months in a year. So 12 is, are the month, month in a year. That is why they ask that how do we measure pearl index? Pearl index is measured in 100 women year, 100 women and one year because the multiplication factor is 200. That's why pearl index comes in 100 women year. Now, in this total exposure, there is two components. One is the total number of female who are using it. And one is the years of use. How many years you have used? Not month, year of use. So, let's put the data here. 10 women got pregnant, including me. So, numerator will be 10. Total female were 100 who were taking it, remember. And they took it for 24 months. That means 2 years. So if you solve it, 10 by 2 into 100, multiply by 1200, okay, so what will happen? Huh? 
the zero will cancel out. Okay. Mm. Oh, I am doing one mistake here. No, there is no mistake. 24 month means two year. So it is quite there. Two year of exposure. Total female is 100. Accidental is 10 to 12. So let's do it. Two zero will cancel out. And uh, Ten will be divided by two, so it will be five. Okay. Okay. So I uh, yeah I am doing a mistake here because uh, mm, it is the not years of use. Just this one mistake. I am really sorry for this. This is a part of gyne mostly, but of course I should have done it correctly. It's unforgivable. Kindly forgive me. It's month of use. So uh, sorry. So month of use two year total is 24. So two year into 12 will be there. And this two into 12 is here. So this 12 will be cancelled here and 10 will be divided by two. So answer will come five answer is five here. And this type of question is not going to come also because they are not giving you pen. So calculation is not possible. But if came, uh, you can see the answer is coming as five. Yes, yes, I should have write the correct thing. Coming to the next question, which vaccine really sorry, yeah. which vaccine is not included in Mission Indradhanush? Mission Indradhanush was an old program because it has seven vaccines. So it is Indradhanush. Now how to remember it? Three are DPT, three which are given at birth, Hep B, OPV, BCG, and last is MMR. So these seven are there. That means we are not including the vaccines of meningococcal meningitis. But now Mission Indradhanus is no more. Now we have intensified Mission Indradhanus 5.0. And this 5.0 include all vaccine of national immunization program. Okay. All the vaccine are included. More, one more thing is, uh, if you see the question on Indradhanus scheme, what is that? Indradhanus scheme is seven days, seven different color bed sheet. Where? In my lover Saif Ali Khan bedroom? No, in government hospital. Seven days, seven different color bed sheet in government hospital. That is Indradhanus scheme. And vaccination is intensified with me. Feeling hot. First day of my menses. Okay. <clears throat> or it can be my menopause also. So let's come here. Let's move to the next question. Very good, Jimmy Jack Jaipurite. A scheme is seven days, seven different bed sheet. A 35 year old male presented to the OPD with severe headache and fatigue. BP was 160 95. According to uh, the global target for prevention and control of non-communicable, which is the target percentile to decrease hypertension. Remember, in the this global target, 10% is the target for three things. 10% reduce alcohol. 10% reduce less exercise or sedentary lifestyle. And 10% reduce salt. So these two are 10, 10, 10. Three are 10, 10, 10. 25% is the reduction of hypertension and 25% is the reduction of cardiovascular deaths. So the cardiovascular disease and their complications, cardiovascular disease complications. So these are the uh, target there. Plus they have used 30% reduction of smoking. Okay. So how to remember it? Just you have to mug it and nothing but uh, mostly the people in foreign country they smoke al they drink alcohol more because of the cold climate so alcohol they have put very less target smoking very high target okay less exercise salt also same as alcohol so answer is for hypertension answer is 25 percent okay next question in NEET PG 2019 now which are the following parameter we use to check the efficiency of surveillance system of malaria Surveillance system of malaria means whether people are working at ground level making slides or not. That is best indicated by annual blood examination rate. 
सो इफ दे आस्क सर्विलेंस सिस्टम और इफ दे आस्क ऑपरेशनल इफिशियंसी ए बी ई आर विल बी एंसर ऑफ चॉइस एंड वी शुड नॉट जस्ट रीड द फॉर्मूला और द वन डिफिनीशन वन क्वेश्चन वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द इंडिकेटर टूगेदर लेट्स रिवाइज इट विथ ए स्टोरी सपोज my dear friend uh, jimmy jaipur jackson went to jaipur as chief medical officer so on the very first day when you will reach there jimmy jaipur what is the first thing you will do of course party after party what the first thing you should do is you should collect the data of the opd or ipd of a hospital that out of 100 patient coming to hospital how many have malaria okay how many have malaria so this will tell you whether malaria is a common problem of your area or not and this will also tell you that how many people suffer due to malaria so this will tell you two thing what is the burden of malaria and what is the morbidity due to malaria how many people suffer due to malaria and this is known as proportional case rate proportional case rate okay so do remember proportional case rate morbidity and burden remember it right now please now after knowing that this is the burden it can be what what do you think uh, jimmy jaipur jackson what do you think how many people out of 100 coming to hospital will have malaria in your area huh can you tell me out of 100 how many will have it let's say jimmy jaipur said 10 people out of 100 have it but out of this 10 Nine can have vivex malaria, which cause relapsing fever. That means malaria is an old thing, not a new thing. So now Jimmy Jaipur Jackson want to know whether malaria is recently transmitted or not. So how can you know about recent transmission? He can take blood sample of some infant less than one year. If their blood sample have malaria parasite, it means it was recently transmission. So recent transmission is detected by. infant parasite rate infant parasite rate tell recent transmission now after recent transmission suppose you know that it is recently also transmitted now as a cmo you should try to know that as compared to last year malaria is decreasing or not so that is known as impact of malaria program you know whether it is decreasing or not and that is detected by annual parasite incidence annual parasite incidence so simple to remember it will detect the incidence and i also stand for impact so incidence and api will also tell api will tell impact whether malaria program is decreasing case or not now in many exam they ask the formula of api which is telling us the impact of uh, malaria program nvbdcp so the formula for api is very simple that out of 1000 people of the area how many confirmed case of malaria occurred confirmed case of malaria okay this is a confusing area so we should clear all the confusing part together and what do you think jimmy jaipur out of 1000 people who are not coming to hospital who are in their home how many will have malaria let's say he found that uh, out of 1000 people 10 have malaria so if he get an api which is more than 1 per 1000 or equal to 1 per 1000 this means this area is in intensive control phase we should do some intensive control of malaria in this and they ask this question intensive means intensive control means api equal to 1 or less than 1 now if you found api as more than equal to 2 per 1000 that means there is a high risk area for malaria high risk area of malaria so now jimmy jaipur jackson has found that out of 1000 people who are living normally 10 people had malaria but if 10 people had malaria it means malaria program will 
probably shift their head office to that area. It is so high. And it can be, a, it is not necessary that 10 case means it is over exaggerated data. 10 case can be real data also. What happen is, if MPW do not make the blood slide, even if there are 10 case, reported case will be one or two. So the main thing which matter is whether MPW are making slide or not. And that is detected by the fourth and last indicator, annual blood examination rate. ABER simply tell that out of total population, what is the slide made from fever case? How many slide are made from fever case? And it is multiplied only by 100, not by 1000 because ABER is in percentage and minimum ABER should be 10%. If even 10% fever case are not being making slide, because in a population in a year, almost 90% will have fever. So at least 10% fever case slide should be made now. If even 10% slide are not being made, it means MPW is not going to houses, not doing active surveillance and not making blood slide. Okay, so do remember that MPW who visit to make malaria slide, he do it by active surveillance for hidden cases. And do remember the four indicator. Okay, one by one, you should remember it like a story. First, you detect burden morbidity by proportional case rate. Then you try to know whether it was recently transmitted or not by infant parasite. Then you try to know as compared to last year, whether it decreased or not impact by API. And then you want to know that API is correct or underreported. If they are not making slide, it means API will become less. So making slide or not will be detected by ABER. If you remember it like a story, you will not confuse and you will remember it ever. Yes, very good. So that is there. Now, this is a confusing question of HIV treatment. And actually, all the options given below are wrong here. Uh, this is a case of post exposure prophylaxis. It can be your case, resident doctor got needle prick injury. In post exposure prophylaxis, Park has clearly written, you can see here. And this is from 27th edition of Park, recent edition. The preferred regime is Raltegravir. Raltegravir. Oh, I cannot write over it. Okay. Raltegravir, Tenofovir, and Imitricitabin. Once daily for four weeks, that means 28 days. So, what is the drug that we give for post exposure prophylaxis? Post exposure prophylaxis. You can remember it by mnemonic Rahul. Suppose Rahul is your batchmate who took 10 EMI from a car company to buy Jaguar car and then ran away. So Rahul 10 EMI is the mnemonic for the drug which we give in post exposure prophylaxis. Rahul Tegravir, Tenofovir and Imitricitabin. It's from Park. So if there is any controversy, I am not responsible for it. So Rahul 10 EMI is post exposure prophylaxis and it should be given in less than 72 hours and post exposure prophylaxis is given for 28 days. But if it comes for the treatment of uh, mm, normal HIV, then for the treatment in adult, we give the drug LTD limited addition HIV is limited lamivudin tenofovir daltegravir okay so treatment of HIV is by LTD and if it is adolescent we don't give tough drug to adolescent so tenofovir is replaced by abecavir and it become lad because in place of tenofovir we give abecavir now in one of the recent exam they ask the treatment for infant for infant, we at least give treatment of six months. And in that six month, we for the first six weeks, we give nevirapin. Nevirapin is given 2 mg per kg and it is hepatotoxic. So we stop it after six weeks. Then after six weeks, we add two drugs, lamivudin and gidovudin. So total drugs which we give till six month is these three. But in some infant, if lamivudin, jadovudin is unable to decrease the uh, virals, in a, unable to increase the CD4 count, then we add Raul Tegravir. 
सो दिस इज द ट्रीटमेंट फॉर इन्फेंट लैड है ना लैड वी यूज फॉर एडोलसेंट ऑल्सो ना सो लैड इज फॉर एडोलसेंट एंड लिमिटेड एडिशन इज फॉर एडल्ट एंड रिमेंबर राहुल टेन ई एम आई फॉर पोस्ट एक्सपोजर प्रोफाइल एक्सेस सैफ अली खान इज आस्किंग पोस्ट हेपाटाइटिस पोस्ट एक्सपोजर प्रोफाइल एक्सेस दैट आई डोंट नो डियर आई आई कैन नॉट गिव यू एन आंसर जस्ट बाई गेसिंग सो इट्स बेटर मेडिसिन यू आस्क इट फ्रॉम मेडिसिन फैकल्टी फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ हेपाटाइटिस बट दिस दे आस्क मोर कॉमनली एंड यू कैन टिक दिस एज करेक्ट बिकॉज डब्ल्यू एच ओ गाइडलाइन कीप्स ऑन चेंजिंग अबाउट इट बट पार्क हैज क्लियरली रिटर्न ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस फॉर पोस्ट एक्सपोजर इज राहुल टेन ई एम आई राहुल टेग्राविल टेन ऑफ अवेर इमी ट्राई सीटा बिन ओके दैट्स वाई आई यूज पार्क बुक रेफरेंस नो कन्फ्यूजन अगेन वन मोर कन्फ्यूजिंग क्वेश्चन दैट दे आर गिविंग दिस केस ऑफ डिप्थेरिया एंड रिमेंबर इन डिप्थेरिया कॉमन इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन इज बुल स्नेक ओके माई नेक इज नॉट बुल स्नेक दिस इज जस्ट डबल ट्रिपल चिन बुल नेक विल हैव स्वेलिंग ओवर हेयर ओके आई वॉज टीचिंग इट वन ऑफ द क्लास स्टूडेंट है कि सर आपका तो नेक ही नहीं है मैंने बोला गुत्थी समझाई क्या कपिल शर्मा का देख दिस इज द नेक तो बुल स्नेक विल हैव स्वेलिंग हेयर मम्प विल हैव स्वेलिंग बिलो द इयर लॉ ब्यूल दिस इज नॉट एनी वन ऑफ दम दिस इज जस्ट फैट and second thing is pseudo membrane which has clear margin and which bleed when you try to remove it two characteristic so of course this dpt which is false they are asking dpt is given in anterolateral aspect of thigh for sure a prior adverse reaction with temperature above 35 is contraindicated above 37 is contraindication no dear 37 is not the contraindication contraindication is 40 degree celsius so this one is false now main confusion which occurred to me also was in option number d let me let me come to c first cellular pertussis is the vaccine not recommended after 7 year correct dpt is given only up to 7 year after 7 year we give dt and this question came in neat also that at 10 and 16 what we give dt or tt so we give dt not tt dt is given at 10 and 16 okay not tt dt so now come to the fourth option it has written that diphtheria toxoid in adult is less as compared to pediatric dose quite surprising pediatric high adult less so then i confirmed this with park textbook before starting this session and you can see here two three things first thing you can see is uh what is the adverse reaction where you stop it so they have written reaction including collapse or shock like stage persistent screaming episode unconsolable cry temperature above 60 40 degree celsius these convulsions or neurological symptom anaphylactic shock these are contraindication in the same pattern one inict question came that a child is having unconsolable cry after taking pentavalent vaccine so what will you do in next vaccination will you give pentavalent of course not because it is an contraindication will you give dpt not next episode we will give dt because all the side effect which occur through pentavalent or dpt is due to pertussis component so we will remove the pertussis component and we will give dt next time if any of these thing happened only dt is given so temperature above 40 was the correct not 37 now let's come to this dose it is written two lofflers of diphtheria toxoid is given to adult compared with 25 in pediatric so pediatric is high adult is low that is correct answer option d was correct of course b was the wrong that's why uh, we will choose b as the correct answer now next question is which of the following is false regarding confounding factor for confounding factor there are three parts which you have to know one is that confounding factor is related to both exposure and outcome 
है ना इट इज नॉट जस्ट रिलेटेड टू वन थिंग रिलेटेड टू बोथ सेकेंड इज एक्सपोजर एंड आउटकम सेकेंड थिंग अबाउट कन्फाउंडिंग फैक्टर इज कन्फाउंडिंग फैक्टर एंड इफेक्ट मॉडिफायर डू नॉट कम इन कॉजल पाथवे डू नॉट कम इन कॉजल पाथवे मीन्स इवन विदाउट द सेम आउटकम कैन ऑकर एंड थर्ड थिंग इज दे आर नॉट इक्वली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एनी वे टेल मी इज देर इज एनी थिंग विच इज इक्वली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन द वर्ल्ड है ना नथिंग इज इक्वल हाउ कैन इट बी सो वट इज फॉल्स फॉल्स इज सी इट इज नॉट इक्वली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन टू ग्रुप नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन ऑल दिस थ्री पॉइंट विथ एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कन्फाउंडिंग फैक्टर ओके एंड आई विल कम टू दिस क्वेश्चन बट लेट्स फर्स्ट टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कन्फाउंडिंग फैक्टर लेट से यू टू के ब्रांच ऑफ विच ब्रांच डू यू वॉन्ट टू टेक सपोज सैफ अली खान बिकेम ए सेक्सोलॉजिस्ट एंड नाउ नहीं नहीं हाँ सैफ अली खान बिकेम ए सेक्सोलॉजिस्ट एंड नाउ he is uh, trying to treat all erectile dysfunction with just ssri fluoxetine okay so he is saying that fluoxetine can be better than all the other thing that we use sildenafil and all fluoxetine can work because the side effect of ssri is a delayed ejac ejaculation so fluoxetine is the new drug which he is trying for treatment of erectile dysfunction old drug is the sildenafil you know we have a doctor friend in the group named sildenafil also so now he is suppose he is giving fluoxetine only to those people who are between 30 to 40 year my age group and he is giving sildenafil to the people who are uh, more than 50 year you know more than 50 year 50 to 60 year and then he is comparing who come back with complaint who have better uh, erection so of course they will have better erection not because of the drug but because of the young age and even if they are using sildenafil their erection will not be good because of the old age so less erection will be there and of course testosterone play the role now uh see in this story fluoxetine is the exposer is the reason which is causing erection or delayed ejaculation and you know, not better erection but delayed ejaculation so now this is the outcome and exposer is fluoxetine here 30 to 40 year young age is the confounder why it is confounder because it is related to both exposure and outcome second point was confounder do not come in causal pathway it means even if it is not given to young people fluoxetine will anyway delayed ejaculation and because ejaculation is delayed so erection will be longer causal pathway mein nahi aa raha hai iska matlab ki uske bina bhi same cheez hoga fluoxetine se erection time to badhega hi it is not coming in causal pathway means even without it the same thing will happen now the third point which i said not equally distributed in two group you can see one group is young one group is old it is not equal young and young will be in both group then there will be no effect of confounder problem will ar arise or confounding will be there only if one group is young one group is old so it is never equal it is unequally distributed in the two group that's why equal one is wrong unequal is correct okay and of course how can you remove the confounder if you want to remove the effect of age how can you remove best way to remove confounder is do randomization randomization means they will choose the chit if they came and cho choose chit a they will go to a group and if they choose chit b they will go to group b so in this way young and old will be distributed randomly rather than selectively so the effect of this old young age will go away confounder will go away second is matching you give sildenafil to 30 year you also give fluoxetine to 30 year so if you match again confounder will go away so randomization matching 
दे कैन रिमूव कन्फाउंडर बेस्ट वे इज रैंडमाइजेशन ओके बट रिमेंबर ब्लाइंडिंग डू नॉट रिमूव कन्फाउंडर दिस इज अ कॉमन क्वेश्चन Why blinding don't remove confounder? Because suppose I am the researcher and I am blind. I don't know which one is taking sildenafil, which one is taking fluoxetine. But even if I am blind, effect of young age will be there, na? Even if I am blind, if one group is young, they will have better reaction. So my blinding do not affect the confounder. Blinding do not remove confounder. Blinding remove researcher bias. Okay, blinding remove my bias. I will not be able to manipulate because I am blind. so blinding remove researcher bias but it does not remove confounder okay now coming on to this question i hope this was example was clear <laughs> and interesting for you to remember it longer and uh, and to do it longer also so which one is the best level of prevention of breast cancer of course early diagnosis and treatment will be better and early diagnosis of treatment is secondary level of prevention so for breast cancer secondary is the best yes randomization is best but if someone is doing stratified randomization that is even better in removing confounder what is stratified randomization stratified randomization means strata means layer so you are putting a layer that only between 30 to 35 year 10 people will come and choose the chit so if 30 to 35 layer is there and they are choosing chit so randomly they will always be distributed almost equally and effect of age will go away stratified randomization ka matlab ki aap ek bar bana lo age ka aur fir unko randomly chit choose karne do to agar aapne bar bana liya age ka 30 se 35 to dono mein jawan hi to jayenge if you have put the bar of age then only young will go in both the group and that will remove the confounder best so stratified randomization is better than randomization and then the third option will be matching okay so my loving friend jimmy japur jackson is absolutely right kushal is saying you are a good teacher hey, thank you thank you kushal uh, i think <coughs> I, this is first time i am giving example of sildenafil and all in case of uh, confounder first fresh example created here and just because one student name is sildenafil so it is stuck in my mind like a dick and it came out okay so come here So, what is the dose of vitamin A given to a two-year-old baby with keratomalacia vitamin A deficiency? So, remember, in vitamin A deficiency, uh, the dose we give is on day zero one fourteen. That means today, twenty-four hour and two week. D answer. If the age is less than six month, then we give fifty thousand. If it is six month to one year. we give or if the weight is less than 8 kg we give 1 lakh and if the age is more than 1 year and weight is also more than 8 kg then we give 2 lakh and i hope you all know when we give it in national immunization schedule 1 lakh is at 9 month then 2 lakh every 6 month till 5 year that is why in total there are 17 lakh doses and for taking 17 lakh doses there will be nine visit of vitamin a okay do remember now uh in a normal curve what is the percentage of distribution of one standard deviation i hope you all know that within minus 1 and plus 1 standard deviation 68% value lie so they can ask this question also a uh, value or area between mean plus 1 standard deviation will be try to give this answer 0.478 uh, 0.34 0.68 0.95 what is the answer to this question area between mean plus 1 standard deviation this whole area plus minus 1 will be 68% so what will be the area between mean plus 1 mean plus 1 means they are only talking about this uh, they are only talking about this part mean and plus 1 this is the mean and plus 1 they are not talking the whole green part 
just half of that plus minus 1 will be 68 but plus 1 will be 34 okay so the answer will be b34 continue okay now i am taking too much time come here a six month old child is said to have pneumonia if the child has fast breathing with a respiratory more than so i discussed it already less than two month 60 two month to one year 50 and this is six months so answer will be 50 okay next question and if it is more than one year 40 more than 40 will be fast breathing Concurrent list of Indian constitution means both state and uh, central government have it in the list that is adulteration of food. Similarly, remember Ayushman Bharat get around 30 to 40 percent fund from state and 70, 60 to 70 percent from central government. So, Ayushman Bharat also in a way you can say funded by both. Remember school health program nowadays are also being included in Ayushman Bharat. Of course, Ayushman Bharat has 5 lakh insurance for economically weaker section that is known as PMJ, Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana. And Ayushman Bharat also have health and wellness center. This health and wellness center is upgradation of 1.5 lakh sub center with new facilities of dental health, mental health, NCD, ENT and yoga. Because yoga se hoga. So these are the thing about Ayushman Bharat which you should definitely know and the logo of this Ayushman Bharat is five green leaf not indicating marijuana but indicating five lakh which will be given okay so the principal unit of administration in India is district based on district we plan all the administration activity because at district we have a district collector uh, cross product ratio is the other name of odds ratio and odds ratio or cross product ratio is in case control study. Second thing is case control study have recall bias because case remember the past history but control forget about it. So that is also there. In controlled tipping, the amount of land required for trench method to be practiced in a population of 10,000. What is control tipping? See, uh, when we were kid around uh, 30, 25 years back, at that time, there was a big pit which was dug in front of our house and all the neighbors were being asked to throw their kitchen waste into it. So we throw kitchen waste and then some dust de deposit. Some waste, some dust. Some waste, um, some dust. So some waste, some dust is uh, controlled. I, we are tipping our waste in a controlled manner. We are not fulfilling that whole pit in one go. So that's why it is controlled tipping. And in this way, gradually what happened was that whole pit got filled and then we used to play badminton over it. It was so plain. So this is control tipping. We are throwing waste slowly. Control tipping is also known as secure landfill. And secure landfill, this has been asked, is the best method for kitchen waste disposal if space is available. But for this space should be available pit should be there otherwise you cannot do control tipping slowly slowly throwing secure landfill means no pollution going out and remember this question has been asked in mci and need previously also so do remember if we have to practice it for 10000 people one acre land is needed okay so that is there now next question in the natural history of disease point a to c is called a is the first possible diagnosis, C is the usual time of diagnosis and the time gap between first possible diagnosis and usual diagnosis is known as lead time. So this is lead time, okay. Now suppose disease onset is X. So the time between X to A, this time, this is the time when the disease is hidden, we cannot detect it. So this X to A will be known as latent period because in this time disease is hidden. Okay. Now, what is critical point means? Critical point means after that point cancer will spread. So there is no point of detecting it after spread. 
सो वी हैव टू डू द स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट बिफोर बी एंड आफ्टर ए बिटवीन दिस पॉइंट ए टू बी वी हैव टू डू द स्क्रीनिंग we cannot screen before a we cannot detect screen after b because then the cancer will spread so a to b will be the screening time ab will be screening time lead time will be ac lag time or latent period will be x to a and generation time they have asked the definition is the time between entry and appearance of maximum infectivity okay this definition has been asked already so do remember it entry and maximum infectivity suppose you sneezed on me and uh, that virus of influenza entered into me and in next four day i became so infective that with my one cough i can infect 20 people so that four day is generation time okay now uh, next question the test of choice to know the difference between mean mean is average mean or average we use for quantitative data or qualitative data mean or average is used for weight i can measure average weight of class average marks of class and weight and marks can be measured whatever we can measure is quantitative so quantitative data is here and how many group two group so what you will apply unpaired t test or student t test or independent t test these are the name of the same test so if it is two group we apply unpaired now let me twist the question and ask new type of question from the same part if i say two group it is unpaired if i say three group three group in place of two group i said three group answer will become anova if i say mean is measured but mean is measured before and after if i use the word before after it will become pair t test now in place of mean if i say percentage of obesity or percentage of hypertensive patient is measured percentage word you found median mode you found that is qualitative data answer will be chi square test so like that they can twist and ask any question from it now test of significance for proportion or percentage as i said if they say the word proportion percentage answer will be chi square so just keyword if you know you can answer and uh, labana js was right if three group is there we will apply anova amit raj anand is also correct again and again he is giving correct answer quantitative data then uh, two group it will be unpaired three or more group anova pre post paired qualitative data chi square that's the short way to answer it in a patient if a patient test positive for disease what is the probability of her actually having the disease so first line they are saying is patient test this was the definition which jemi jaipur jackson was asking patient test positive for disease now positive for disease means it can be true positive plus false positive any one of this now what is the probability that he actually have the disease dekho out of true positive false positive who actually have the disease actually have the disease means those who are true positive so true positive out of total positive that is known as ppv so this is a other way of defining ppv out of the patient who test positive how many actually have the disease this is another way to define ppv out of total positive how many actually have disease okay actually have disease so this is one more way of defining ppv if i have to define npv negative predictive value i will define it like this out of total negative how many actually don't have disease that is npv because npv is true negative they don't have disease by total negative true negative plus false negative okay so this was a good question amit raj is again correct dr house md is also correct and vardhana puspa krishna yadav uh, um, acha they are you are confused in this question very good it's good to confuse in the class that way you will remember it better and do it correct in the exam 
there is nothing wrong in the class very good chalo now what is the best way to plot the change in incidence of a disease in a given area change plot the change plot the change means trend trend of any share trend of cryptocurrency and trend is best represented by line diagram they have asked a separate question from it what is the best way to represent secular trend again answer will be line diagram and what is the example of secular trend cardiovascular disease hypertension diabetes they all are example of secular trend what do you mean by secular trend secular trend means constant increase or decrease in cases over a long period of time over a long prolonged period of time see my dear friend <coughs> uh if you look at the cardiovascular disease case in the world from 1950 till 2022 it is constantly increasing now similarly cardiovascular death are constantly decreasing in uk over this period so because they are constantly increasing they are secular and like we say the word secular leader communal leader na secular leader is one who is constant for a long period of time just like cardiovascular disease okay who is the secular leader of india Huh? What do you think? In one of the class, answer Kai answered, "Sir, Modi is the secular leader of India." I said, "Yes, Modi is secular, and I am Noora Fatehi." Okay, come here. <laughs> so, which diagram is shown here? One above another, if they show, that is component bar diagram. But if they show like this, two bar here, then two bar here, that is multiple bar diagram. And if they show like this. One, two, three. Then gap. Then one. Then two. What is this? There is one gap, but the gap is not at fixed interval. So this will be histogram and line diagram we have drawn earlier. Okay, and this gap is maybe representing zero case. Like suppose I am writing cases of J E with year two thousand fifth, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and then COVID came, so no case occurred. Then twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. so the gap is indicating zero case that's not a real gap and that is why it is a histogram do remember one recent question that for qualitative data better than bar diagram is fish diagram in fish diagram we draw all the causes and we reach to the origin like let's say i am obese for this obesity there are multiple reason let's say i am obese so there are multiple reason for that all the reason like my lack of exercise excess diet online ordering they will come together to the outcome so that is one new method of qualitative data representation fish diagram okay triage is done during disaster which is true about triage first come first treat of course not green level are for those who need to be transmitted or priority no on priority we do red so this is also wrong moribund patient receive lowest priority yes correct because they are already dead so they will get less priority most commonly used system is three color code no most commonly is four color code remember red are those who need surgery in 6 hour they asked a confusing question from here relatively stable patient relatively stable are those who are yellow category because they are more stable as compared to red they need surgery in 6 to 24 hour and i hope you all know green are the one who are ambulatory they cannot run like ambulance but they can be shifted from one place to another on wheelchair and all ambulatory are not relatively stable they are stable patient and dead are black so this is green do revise it they ask question from it again and again don't get confused here or you will not forgive yourself so uh, now next question risk of genetic disease is consanguineous consanguineous marriage relative marriage is 4 to 8% if it is non consanguineous not in relatives cousin brother sister and all then it is 2 to 4 half of that consanguineous 4 to 8 uh, a paradoxical carrier is the one who acquired pathogen from another carrier you know so you got infected from someone who had no symptom of it now similarly there is also one more thing convalescent carrier convalescent carrier are those who acquired infection 
फ्रॉम द पर्सन हु वॉज रिकवरिंग फ्रॉम पेशेंट हु वॉज इन कन्वलसेंट फेज हु वॉज रिकवरिंग सो रिकवरिंग मीन्स कन्वलसेंट एंड फ्रॉम द कन्वलसेंट फेज यू गॉट इन्फेक्शन सो दैट इज कन्वलसेंट कैरियर ओके सो पैराडॉक्स मीन्स अनएक्सपेक्टेड यू गॉट इन्फेक्शन नॉट फ्रॉम ए पेशेंट बट फ्रॉम ए कैरियर दैट्स वाइट इज पैराडॉक्स which following vaccine is contraindicated in pregnancy all the live vaccine are contraindicated and live vaccine can be easily remember by the mnemonic cpp ijo these five are both live and killed c stand for cholera p for polio p for plague i for influenza j for japanese encephalitis for these five there are both live and killed so easy to remember now next is bcg MMR, okay, and uh, rotavirus. Then uh, BCG, MMR, rotavirus, and varicella, and yellow fever. So, can you make another mnemonic from here? Varicella, and uh, why CPP IJO has the five disease, and then this five is there. Uh, BCG, MMR, rota virus, varicella for chicken pox, and yellow fever. These all are live. And remember, for live, three type of question they ask. First, child is immunocompromised. Don't give live. Second, hepatosplenomegaly, uh, splenomegaly, old age, and all. Again, we try to avoid live. Pregnancy, we don't give live except yellow fever. And in infant less than one year, we don't give live. So they will change the question. but remember if you know the life you will not give it in these people and if they ask in splenectomy and old age which vaccine is given in immunocompromised mostly the reason of death is pneumonia so we give pneumococcal conjugate vaccine in immunocompromised and old age okay so that is there acha uh, dr amit raj anand is ask what vaccine diluent we uh, uh, kaun se vaccine mein kya diluent milate hain please bataiye ek bar kyun nahi amit sure uh, see there are three vaccine in which diluent is used bcg is normal saline mr or mmr now we use mr so it is sterile water and je is phosphate buffer solution three diluent are there now the question is how to remember it and don't forget during exam very simple jaise hi bachcha paida hota hai hum uski life thodi namkeen banani chahte hain and the first vaccine we give is normal saline because we want to make the life a bit salty as birth at birth we give bcg to make life salty the normal saline now m is for mmr m is also for mother and we all know mother love is like sterile water and a very pure she just want our happiness no matter how angry mother is just press her leg for 10 minute she will melt like ice cream so that is mother love mmr and je if you write the full form japanese so you can see je is also there and phosphate buffer also there so je have phosphate buffer solution this three diluent i hope you will remember and that is there not a ppe of course lab coat is not a ppe now do remember that if they ask in which category you throw ppe so ppe is original ppe was of plastic white color with blue chain and plastic always goes in red so ppe kit goes in red okay yes which of the following is false about rubella infection it is a droplet correct mother to child transmission possible correct infection in early pregnancy cause milder no 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 neat question 2023 early pregnancy cause congenital rubella syndrome i hope you all know the three thing sensory neural deafness patent ductus arteriosus type of cardiac valve defect most common cardiac valve defect is pda and then there is congenital cataract three things occur in rubella syndrome now this syndrome occur only if infection is in less than 12 week period of gestation now suppose let's come to the fourth option fetus affected in late pregnancy may have only deafness no 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 try to understand this concept if infection of rubella Occurred between twelve week to sixteen week. First twelve week, three thing will occur. Twelve to sixteen week, only one thing will occur: sensory neural deafness. 
so it is also partially correct that if it is affected in late pregnancy but it is not late it's still compared to third option fourth one is less wrong because it is after 12 week they should have written after 12 week in place of late then it would be perfectly correct option so fetus affected after 12 week may have only sensory neural deafness but if someone is some suppose i am a mother and i came with my child to you at 26 week with rubella infection which i acquired from my um, uh, from my husband um, safali you know remember and uh, he used to go to some other woman and infected me now so at 26 week i am coming with rubella what is the advice which you will give me to me as a doctor you will say the advice of reassurance go and have more fun no nothing to worry because after 16 week no problem cross product ratio we already know it is from uh, case control study which is same as odds ratio because it is ad by bc a and d are cross b and c are cross so that's why it is cross product ratio we have done this question confounding factor we have again done this uh, confounding factor is uh, it is only associated with risk factor wrong no association with risk factor wrong independent association with risk factor disease what do independent association means independent association means confounding factor don't come in causal pathway it do not come in causal pathway let me explain one more thing effect modifier here with a simple example suppose a boy proposed to a girl and suppose the girl accepted it now in this story this is the exposure this is the outcome all the common friend who know both of them they are confounder they will try to make them up or break them up so they are confounder because they are related to both and only girlfriend who do not know the boy but know the girl is effect modifier only girlfriend and he will say something to the girl that hey dekho i saw him walking with other girl you know, and you also walk with other boys so you will be good together you know like that she will say something so that is effect modifier only related to outcome now what do you mean by don't come in causal pathway do you need some friend for acceptance of your proposal no na like in tinder boy swipe girl swipe even without common friend and girlfriend same outcome will occur so they are independent association they don't come in causal pathway and in tinder there is no feedback like five star rating he performed really well so accept him nothing like that and they are independent factor they do not come in causal pathway that is the characteristic of both of them and remember effect modifier only related to outcome only association with disease this is effect modifier associated with both that is confounder and confounder effect modifier both are unequally distributed in two group because nothing in the world is equally distributed okay now a community medicine student like me was talking about various type of carriers oh we have discussed it what is the paradoxical carrier who said organism during recovery is convulsant as i said during recovery if you are saying that is convulsant carrier who said organism who get infected from another carrier that is paradoxical okay so paradoxical is another carrier and recovery is convulsant a medical college is taking viva examination of the student where the external ask you about vaccine strain which of the following strain is changed every year of course virus vaccine they go through multiple mutations so viral vaccine influenza get changed every year <coughs> they can ask a second question from here which vaccine is given by intranasal root so intranasal root is influenza live vaccine plus a recent corona vaccine covax is also given by nasal root and the jidus cadilla dna vaccine is also given by nasal root but live influenza vaccine is by nasal root they have asked in neat what is the root of je vaccine so je and mr both are given subcutaneous of course je also have nakayama strain which is given im but it is written in park that in india we use the live vaccine which is given subcutaneous and the strain of it is sa1442 nakayama is nakamya but it is no more in use and there is one more killed vaccine but in india 
it is written in 27th edition park we don't use killed one we don't use i am one we use the live sa 1442 so always answer j given sc and it is live dose is 0.5 ml okay and there is that is recent update because in latest edition of park it is there okay the most peripheral unit of family planning services that is sub center if they ask where do you report marriage sub center where do you report birth and death that is phc and birth and death reporting should be done in 21 days and that is birth and death registration act this image is showing healthy then initial disease progress of disease death and cure of course that is the natural history of disease how the disease progress okay so that's all from these two year of discussion uh i will take a second part of discussion tomorrow tomorrow i will have the second part so, uh, i should have finished it quickly but then i would not be able to complete the topic just answering will never give you the result you have to have a grip over the topic and i think all the things we discuss we discuss it with complete grip and i am really happy with the way you were interacting and asking questions and replying very fast and also tomorrow i will take a second part uh, from uh, 2 pm to 4 pm in 2 hour i will finish it not extend it like this and uh, we will have again complete grip over all the topic of the remaining part thank you so much for being with me if you have any doubt any question please reply it धनंजय श्रीवास्तव सिंह कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन फॉर योर लेटेस्ट चाइल्ड यार इतना भी कोई तीर नहीं छोड़ा है मैंने हालांकि देर वॉज सम तीर बट शुक्रिया थैंक यू सो मच देवेंद्र सिंह यू आर ग्रेट थैंक यू यू आर वेरी हेल्पफुल एंड ग्रेट थैंक यू फॉर अप्रिशिएशन एनी क्वेश्चन एनी थिंग यू वॉन्ट टू से टेल मी जिमी जयपुर हैज ए वेरी गुड निमोनिक रूबी के प्यार में दिल टूटने पर एन डी ए बहरा हो गया और कैटरेक्ट हार्ट डिजीज डिफने सर वा वेरी गुड ही मेड इट लाइक दैट सर वाई नॉट कंटिन्यू नाउ ओनली बिकॉज देन द सेशन विल बी टू लॉन्ग एंड इट विल नॉट बी एबल टू अपलोड ऑन यूट्यूब प्लस दिस स्टूडियो नीड टू क्लोज ड्यू टू मी ऑल द स्टाफ आर ऑल्सो वेटिंग एंड आई कैन नॉट मेक पीपल सफर प्लस देन वी विल हरी सो लेट्स हैव ए प्रॉपर डिस्कशन टूमोरो फ्रॉम टू टू फोर रियली सॉरी फॉर नॉट एबल टू फिनिश इट इन दिस टाइम बट Uh, i was in flow to finish the topic and of course detailing the topic will take more time but it was useful i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much and let's meet to tomorrow at 2 pm i'm really thankful for your uh, participation replies and appreciation love you bye bye astalavista dasvidaniya thank you